While the world is fighting the deadly pandemic, Armenia has just started a new war against Azerbaijan, targeting primarily densely populated Azerbaijani villages and towns, hitting even schools, kindergartens, hospitals, homes for disabled people, and other civilian structures. This new round of criminal warfare began on September 27th when Armenia, with the help of Middle Eastern mercenaries, launched military attacks against Azerbaijan in the occupied Karabakh region. As of now, 12 Azerbaijani civilians, including children, have been killed and 35 wounded. To prevent further aggression and protect our civilian population, the armed forces of Azerbaijan undertook counter-offensive measures, liberating several villages and strategic heights that had been under Armenia's illegal UN condemned military occupation for the last 27 years. All military operations are taking place within the sovereign and internationally recognized borders of Azerbaijan. This aggression follows another one by Armenia that happened in July that also targeted the civilians. Armenia's goal is to invade more lands of Azerbaijan as was also stated by their own defense minister, who publicly stated that Armenia would wage a new war for new territories. In the early 1990s, Armenia illegally invaded, occupied, and ethnically cleansed around 20% of Azerbaijan's sovereign territory, including the Nagorno-Karabakh region and seven adjacent districts. Armenia expelled 800,000 Azerbaijanis from their lands. The United Nations Security Council condemned this invasion and occupation and demanded Armenian forces to be withdrawn from the occupied regions of Azerbaijan. Leaders in the U.S. and around the world must stand together with Azerbaijan in opposition to this illegal invasion and assault and condemn Armenia's unlawful actions.